Hi guys, it's Ivo here and welcome to my newest video series. This time we're going to talk about solid principles and clay code, but with a little bit of a twist. We're going to show them in a huge code base, a real world app, which is actually used in a production environment by thousands of users. I decided to uh, make a video about this topic because usually when people teach about the solid principles or the clean code practices, they teach with demo code, they use small examples and there is nothing wrong with that. It's completely fine for beginners, but um, it will be even better if we continue by showing a real world app like this one here. This is essentially a judge system. A judge system, it means that users compete in the judge system by submitting code. They solve programming tasks and the judge system knows how to evaluate them because it has pre-made tests. So when I submit the code, uh, the judge system will try to validate that code. If, we, if it's a compiling language, it will compile the code, then it will run it, and then it will validate the output against predefined tests. If it's a script language, for example, Python or JavaScript, it will just run the code and validate the tests. So this system is... I believe uh, maybe seven or eight years old now. It has some legacy problems in it. Uh, additionally, uh, I want to add some disclaimer because I'm going to show some mistakes in the code. Mistakes in terms of uh, writing better code, writing clean code, having uh, having solid principle violations and so on and so on and i'm not doing that to bash the developers because one of the developers of this system is actually me so i'm not doing uh, this video pointing errors here and there by telling code oh, this developer sucks or this developer doesn't know how to code well or something like that that's not my intention here because the system was done in the best possible way during that time. Seven years ago, the practices were different. We as developers knew less uh, about programming at all. So there are mistakes here and there. But considering that this system has managed to solve more than five or six millions of submissions of code submissions and it worked fine and various educational institutions used the code the system is fine so I, I don't want to bash the developers i don't want to point their mistakes i'm just i'm just going to point how it can be improved because this is a code which is super old and as we know code gets old super fast. If you write uh, code, open it again in six months and you will find mistakes in it. If you don't find mistakes, then you are not advancing your skills. So it's completely normal to have any kinds of problems in any code base. And because the system is open source and you can download it uh, and play with it or take a look at the source code, I decided to use it as my example of this video series. So I hope you like, the, like it. But before we start with the first solid letter S, single responsibility, I would like to show you what the system uh, looks like and where you can find the source code. This is the system. It's not very beautiful because uh, its intention is to have functionality. It doesn't matter how it looks. It's a judge, it's a judge system currently used by a local educational institution, it's called Softuni, but that doesn't matter. And it's used for many, many years now by them. Uh, we can take a look at how much submissions the system had during that time. It's more than 7 million, actually. And it's a good system. It's, uh, it's working very well. It's written with .NET. It's running on Windows and it's open source. It's a very nice system. 
of course there's a lot of legacy problems with it uh, in terms of code quality not in terms of performance or anything like that so when a user decides to compete somewhere for example in the c sharp development he can take a look at some of the tasks here for example let's take c sharp advanced c sharp exercises and for example stacks and queues and there are eight tasks for the stacks and queues uh, exercises if you want to take a look at the system or just register and play with it you can download each tasks uh, description from here this is not translated unfortunately it's a bug but this means description so if you hit this link it you will get the uh, task in English so you can play with it you can test your code or if you like algorithmic tasks you can try the system I'm going to run this sample code of course it will give me errors because that's not the actual solution to the reverse strings tasks but that doesn't matter I'm just going to show you what the system does because it will be very difficult for you to understand what we're trying to uh, analyze later in the video series so uh, here I have a C sharp code which doesn't compile because we need to have a semicolon here. I'm going to submit that. I'm going to wait a bit and refresh, and I will see a compile time error. So the system gave me a compile time error because some error semicolon expected. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so if I decide to fix the code and run it without any compilation errors I'm going to receive wrong answers okay I need to wait for uh, 30 seconds because I'm not allowed to flood the system with submissions because it has some technical time to process them so for these 30 seconds I'm going to show you how to download the and get the codes uh, this is the repository with every single source code I've shown in my video channel and by the way if you are new around here make sure you subscribe and hit the, the bell notifications on because you know I'm creating advanced C sharp lessons and you don't want to miss them <laughs> so all these source code uh, demos are in a repository and in the huge code base uh, folder you will find the open judge system this is the judge system I'm showing in the current video how to find the repository well the repository is uh, linked down below in the description but you can go to bit.ly slash your dash source you can go to this URL and then uh, fill out the form and the repository will be sent to you so you can play with the system and take a look at the code okay let's submit the the source code again we can see that this time we don't have any compilation error and that's completely fine but we have some errors because the task expected to receive that and I'm printing test this is essentially what the system does and in the next video I'm going to start pointing different mistakes in terms of solid principles and then I'm going to talk about clean code in general in this system back to the source code the the whole architecture of the project is a typical database driven architecture we have a data layer a data layer with a database context we have the data models here for example a contest means a collection of tasks a problem is actually a task a test is uh, a task is uh, a predefined output that your solution if you submit it needs to match and various other models then we have a web project which is what we saw a couple of minutes ago the web project is uh, 
uh, is a typical ASP.NET MVC app. It has controllers, some areas, some views, and it's using the old ASP.NET framework, but the concepts I'm going to show you here doesn't matter. They are framework agnostic, so it's completely fine. Don't worry about that. If you're ASP.NET Core developer, all these principles are the same. And between the web framework and the data layer, there, there is a services layer. The services layer has business services, which essentially do different kinds of logic. And we have data services, which are pretty, pretty basic. They just make various queries against the database. That's the separation of concerns in this project. So data layer, service layer, and web layer. And before I finish, I would like to mention that I have a mentorship program available on Patreon. So if you want to join all the 52 people who already uh, learn additional exclusive material from me, make sure you check the Patreon out. It's available at patreon.com slash There's a link down below in the description. But in the Patreon, every month I post exclu exclusive video lessons, which I believe every developer should know. There are There is a private community in which you can ask me questions, ask the other participants questions. There are various posts. I post code challenges. Make sure you take a look at the Patreon because I believe it has a lot of value. For example, for, uh, for October 2020, I created a video of the ASP.NET Core Request Lifecycle and the anatomy of the whole request response thing. Additionally, I created a workshop for working with Redis. This was live workshop and a lot more things are available in my mentorship program. Make sure you check it out. Okay, guys, this was the introductory video for this uh, video series. In the next one, we're going to talk about as single responsibility. Bye for now.